controle. So, where do we go? Top from the left. You can see him undressing right now. Yeah. <laughs> He's doing some filth with this uh, wife, good wife, uh, the queen of Sweden right now. This is here. <laughs> oh dear, cut, cut. Hello, Kale. Do you think he's uh, listening to Europe at the moment? Sorry? Do you think he's listening about Europe at the moment? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely. No, we have that certain erotic touch to our music. That's why I prefer it when he, you know, does it with his good wife. <laughs> uh, do you think it's good for a country to have a king like that in a beautiful uh, mansion? Yeah, he's a good guy. He's a real good guy. Good kid. Yeah. Cool dude. Okay, good. 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 Is that, is that, 
warm ones. You were not dreaming about uh, the travel, uh, just dreaming about music. No, we're dreaming about playing festivals and all that, playing concerts. And but we're musicians, I mean, it doesn't matter if we where we play. We were happy that we can go all around the world and play, of course. We've been to Asia, we've been to Iceland, we've been to Russia, uh, we're going to Budapest. We've been to India. India, and that's Taiwan. Asia. And in more strange places. We've been all over the place. Space is pretty strange. The <laughs> United States is pretty strange. Place. Pleasure of uh, the traveling and uh, seeing places uh, it is uh, not uh, as uh, important as a pleasure to play still for you. The main thing is to play concerts. It's nice to be able to travel around the world and see different countries, but you never actually have time to see that much of, of each country because you just do the concerts. You basically see the hotels and, and uh, the venues and what you see from, from the bus window when you drive through the city. That's all. So the country you know the most is still this one. It is, yeah. This is the city where we was we were raised. Yeah. It's okay. That's, I know it's not much of a city. You <laughs> this is where I was raised. I love this city. You don't have to listen to me if you don't want to. You can switch the channel. That out. That was done. So good. Three. Yeah. Four. Two. Yeah. 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 bird life here in Stockholm. There, you see that one there? That's a fisk moss. It's our only bird. That one. <coughs> and there we have a lot of swarms. I mean, the Swedish sea lions. It's great. <coughs> you, can, you, can, you can go here, you know, and watch, watch all these beautiful birds. And I mean, you're occupied for the whole day if you... I mean, if you watch them carefully. This is two typical Swedish fans. Very nice to have a little chat to. And uh, what's your name? Silva. What's your name? Anna Silva. Very good. Wait. It's 
nice country, but don't you think it's a bit cold? It is. Yes. It's very cold. But I guess we chose the most windy place, the most windy spot of Stockholm actually. Because, you know, the wind comes in from the sea over there. Can you see it? And it takes, it gets a lot of, you know, like, it blows in here just exactly the spot where we're standing right now. That's why this is one of the coldest places. I mean, if we, for instance, chosen the place behind the hotel, we would have the hotel to, you know, stop the wind from blowing that hard. I know I'm talking too much, but if I wouldn't talk, who else would? I mean, those boring motherfuckers, they <laughs> won't say anything. I hate them. I'm just in this band because I earn so much money. Let's go back. Let's go back. Okay.
Let's go. Let's go. Show you. Good. Good old Swedish guy. Well, I'm going to take you to a guy called uh, Eva Torg. He's an old Swedish uh, poet. He was really. He's probably one of the. Or he is one of the most well known poets in Sweden. There is. Can you tell who's who? Come on, Joey. Ever talk? This guy. An old scout. He's written all many old famous Swedish songs. He plays that? That's really Superman. It's made out of steel. This is his notes. He was a good songwriter. Lyrics. Many good lyrics. This is not, this is not real, though. This is not real. What are you saying? I don't know, he's been saying it for, for a very long time. Maybe he's trying to steal, right? <coughs> he doesn't have exactly he's on the same thing. He's going on here to talk song, though. Huh? Whatever, what's he going to do? Det 
and food and um, you know family friends and food yes of course you mean wait oh, yeah. well I mean there's girls everywhere so you don't have to be particularly sweet to see nice girls yeah we got nice girls here but we experience when we travel around the world they got nice girls everywhere that's, that's a nice we, girl that's why we tour that's the way we prefer <laughs> girls yeah, see on, on the, the picture way. up there you see me in that place? <coughs> I like the upper yeah, kind of. The, the upper half of her, so yeah. to say. Particularly the, the eyes underneath, the two blue eyes, that's I mean the two red eyes. That's how we want them to look when they go to our concert. So. But that's for the girls, a lot of people come to see this country for the girls. Because yeah, I mean, in a way, they are beautiful girls here. Yeah, that's true. So why do you get outside? Well, <laughs> You know, there's more to rock and roll than girls. There's music, Is too. <laughs> but uh, is it uh, easy to lead a normal, sentimental life when you travel a lot like that and you can't have a, otherwise a, a normal life here, but now that side too? <coughs> it's not normal life. This is Nothing is the, normal the, about it. This is the kind of life we've chosen and, and that's, uh, it's totally different from a normal life. But yeah. it's the way we've chosen to live, so yeah. Yeah. we accepted it. As far from that, there's no regret. No, not really. Rap is a happy band. Rap, yeah, man. we're having fun. <laughs> we look sad. Pulling your legs all the time. <laughs> we love it. <laughs> Taking you to cleaners. Um, no, we have a lot of fun. We like touring. What do, you, what do you like the most in uh, traveling around? To play music. <laughs> to play music in different yeah. from the That's different audiences. Yeah. It's great for us to do. Uh, this is our second Europe tour we're going to do, European. And uh, it's great to see the fans again, and see you come again, and see what kind of audience, and see the reactions. It's going to be great. See you again on tour. The more people you get to know and to play in front of, the better it is. And. Um, so, playing live is, is the best thing about traveling around. Uh, and it's, it's certainly also good for the music and the lyrics to travel. It brings yeah, you get, you you get new impressions and stuff. We come up with a lot of good ideas together on the road. There's no other way to come up with it. You just play a sound check or a jam. Do you think the last album would have been the same without the world tour before? Probably not. Really. I think we're mature and learn how to play. But uh, what did you mean by out of this world? It's not. It's kind of the following thing from. The first album was called Europe. The second one was called Wings of Tomorrow. Like fly somewhere, and then the final countdown go away. You know. And then out of this world, then we're out there somewhere. So the next one will be. <laughs> Rev sucks. <laughs> so next time it will be the goal. Next time we'll read something. So we don't know where yet. It's a mystery. It's yet to come. We'll see what happens. Got it. It's pretty scary actually. <laughs> Amen. These days a lot of Ben seems to be proud of their origin. You see Bon Jovi with his new jersey. And, uh, 
I think we're more like I think we more, more like modern gypsy. Tchaikovsky. Because we have moved out. Well. We moved out of Sweden. We have a place in the British West Indies, and we travel all around the world. So I was think I was thinking more like gypsies, and we play for, we play wherever we come and do our best wherever we go. Wherever we got fans, we just go and play. The music in the background of that speech, wasn't it? <coughs> This is the music because of how he uses for his drum solo. Oh. By the way, he did. Dead. Dead. <coughs> yes. So you, you would like to have your next album called Just Sweden or Stockholm? It's, it's the cameraman. <laughs> <laughs> to do, do the job to make one of the concert great. Right. Okay, so. so what is your favorite band? You're yeah. up. <laughs> Thank you. Is there a... here in front of the royal palace with private, private Hansen. Private Hansen? Yeah. He's the guy that takes care of all the naughty boys that tries to get into the castle. And there's supposed to be a black line here. And if you walk inside of that, he yes, shoots you. Yeah. But we don't <laughs> see the black line, so we don't care. And he seems to be a nice person so far. Would you like to, to have a king? Uh, of Sweden? No, we hate to have a king. That's why we have the president. president of the Sweden nation. What? No, no, that's okay. He's, he's, he's kidding. Kidding. He, We already have a king, so that's fine. <coughs> we don't need one, so that's okay. <coughs> okay. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
Actually, one of the most popular vodkas in uh, in America, in fact. So that's why we're proud of being Swedish, <laughs> because the absolute vodka is so big in America. <laughs> Want some? Check out the stock market. Here. <laughs> No good, no good, no good at all. Okay, well, I'll go. Silver, it looks like. 
I've been thinking actually about wearing one of those on stage, but the other guy said, oh, that's too much. You can't really do that. But maybe I do it sometime, you know, just to surprise them and the audience, of course. Right, you're beginning now the European tour. Exactly. Yeah. 
It is your second real big uh, European tour. Yeah, it's going to be very interesting to go back to the same place and see the see the, the, the fans that come again. That's great, I think. Sometimes I ask the audience, you know, were you here the last time? Yeah, yeah. And it's like, wow, it's, it's great. You know, we still believe in us. That's great. And we're going to give you a hell of a show. Perfect. But uh, you never fear uh, too much because it's the success of Final Countdown was uh, very, very huge. And uh, this time you've got to, you're going to have to prove again on stage that you can really follow this uh, wonderful tour. Mm -hmm. uh, you're really, really uh, positive about it or sometimes you feel you know, like... No, it's a really challenge. I mean, this is what we do best. And maybe it's better in a way when we have a really broad album with uh, 12 good songs instead of one really massive hit. We can show the audience that we can be a rock and roll band. That's that what we are. Yeah. Final Countdown made, made us in the media look like a kind of a pop band, which is not the fact. It's not right. You know. no, it's always been a hard rock band. And this is what we've proven this tour. Yeah, so we're out there. Be there. Be square. <laughs> yes, Out of This World is really a uh, total album, you know, with uh, a color and uh, each song seems to have a style on its own, but the general idea is uh, more uh, evident, obvious than uh, maybe a uh, final countdown where there were a few tracks. Yeah, I think the song Final Countdown is a spe specific case. You can't write a song like that only once in a lifetime, and it's, because it stands out and it's a crossover. And it's good and bad to follow that up. <laughs> you know, it's hard to follow it up because people expect the same thing again. But in our case, we don't care about that. We just write what we feel, and, and I hope that the fans will st the fans will stick with us. And like he said, we got enough. We we it was kind of a pop thing when Fat Kevin came. Okay. That was the, that was not what we wanted, but we accept all the fans anyway. It doesn't matter. I mean, it's just great if you can come and see. It's great. But uh, you would like to to convince the pop fans to become rock fans, no? Yeah, that would be nice. Welcome news for everybody. It's just great. I remember when we, well, when I was a kid, we went to see, like tonight, we're going to play Ice Stadium in Stockholm. I went there to see Then Let's See, and just to get away from everything, get away from home. Just went out and rocked out, do what I wanted to do. I think it's for everybody to go out and have a, get a few aggressions out, just have yeah, a yeah. squeeze. It's after one of these shows that you decided instead of being uh, a bit apart from the normal uh, rock uh, uh, road, you know, uh, normal countries for rock and roll, just to try and form a band and maybe be international. Or I suppose it helped. I mean, you know, when you went to see your, to see your favorite band on Ice Stadium, gave you ideas yeah. and dreams and yeah. dreams. So of course that was the plan all the time. We used to form a band and it was more fun to play with the band than do the homework. <laughs> so you went with the friends and you played and you played and you played and you played some schools. And eventually you started to become good together. And we've been lucky. I mean, we've been a very fortunate band. And we're very grateful for what's happened to us. Can you sum up a bit the big uh, legs of your, of your career? The band was formed in 1980, and the, and the more important things in the whole thing is 1982 we won a big rock contest to, to record the first album. And it was released in Sweden and in Japan. And it was popular, very popular. And then we started touring a lot in Sweden. In 1984 we did Wings of Tomorrow, which CBS heard in America, so they signed us after that. And we continued touring, and uh, then we didn't find count on and that's when it kind of took off. International. Yeah. The international. And we did the first world tour. And now we're here with Out of This World and on the second world tour. And we're having a good time. So, do you think that your, your style of music and your image also uh, have the same impact everywhere you go? Because there's certain different cultures and the yeah. world. Yeah, it might. It's hard to tell. I mean, it's different from country to country. The audience is different. You know, like, of 
course, the commercial success you have goes with that as well. But some uh, countries they're a bit younger, you know, maybe some more girls. Some countries they're a bit more heavy, more guys. I think the mixture is good. But generally, it's a we have a wild time everywhere we go, actually. Yeah. It seems like it's more, a little more uh, rock fans coming now after all this world, and that's great. We love that. It's more of a mixed audience now, more, more like more rock fans coming back. We like it. <laughs> Did you ever think, uh, think of moving uh, to another country? Because people might think it's a bit limited uh, over here to, to create, really. We don't live in Sweden. We moved out already. We moved out already, about two years ago, yeah. to the British West Indies. We have so that's our base now. I mean, we're okay. seriously, we're kind of gypsies. We don't spend much time there or here. We no, travel all the time. time, and we play wherever we can play. <laughs> Since the European tour in '86, we've been more or less traveling all the time. What was the eighth seven? Eight seven. What was that? The, the European tour, the last one. Prince Charles in '87. Yeah, the beginning in '87. Then it's Hayden. Yeah, Hayden. The beginning of '87 started, and since then we've been traveling more or less all the time. Well, spent a couple of months in the Bahamas writing songs. '86. It's a bit confusing, isn't it? <laughs> no. We, no, we did. 86, we recorded Final Countdown. And after that, you started touring with us. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. 87. Since 87. Yes, maybe it's about the recording of Bahamas. It's the opposite country from here. Yeah, we don't work so much there. We, we wrote work. some songs there for the new album. Yeah. Yeah. We wrote a lot on tour as well. Now we're writing more on tour. More uh, rock riffs. Can somebody come out with a good rock riff? Add some lips to it. It's, after a while, it's a good song. Do you write the uh, same songs uh, when you go to my son and uh, over here with his milk? No, I prefer to work in Europe. I prefer to work in Europe or America. I don't write as good in the Bahamas. I, we have our house there, but we go there for sun and vacation a few weeks and then we just go back. That's a little bit dangerous with the ragging influences. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Trying to get away from those. <laughs> In fact, if you were living too much over there, you would be a reggae band tomorrow. Tagata. 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 That's good stuff. Yeah. Yes, uh, I'd like to speak a bit about the tour a bit more. Mm. Uh, you certainly had uh, opportunities to, to, to get a bit more than uh, just from the hotel to the <coughs> room, uh, concert hall. And uh, what were the countries that uh, please use the most musically and maybe uh, you're also tourists somewhere? I think uh, Japan was pretty spectacular. We went to see the, the, the temple, the Empress Temple. Yeah. And uh, the time capsule and that stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've seen the wedding as well. Japan is pretty spectacular. And also Bombay and India. Bombay was such a culture shock for us, coming from Sweden. It's so different. That was great experience. And also we've been to Russia. We're going to Budapest. We're going to do this tour. We like to pray wherever we can. You know. We call it a world tour in its right meaning. Some bands just play in Europe and in America, they call it a world tour. But we got it. Asia, we haven't been to Australia yet. We would like to go to Australia. Australia would be nice. We will, I think, finish by some uh, small jingles uh, for the Super Channel. Okay. Can you maybe sing some songs? I don't know. What do you want, you want us to do? What are you? You want to say a little to the audience, Super Channel? Maybe you want in English. Yeah, she's working for Super yeah. Channel. Maybe she has an idea. Yeah. And nothing specific to it all. Do, do you have any specific message uh, using for Super Channel? Yes. Can you have another one? Yes. 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 Do you want to ask what the, the competition question? 
The, co the question well, is, the question is, where was the album, the, the, uh, um, the last album recorded? Which, which city was it? Where was it? Was your no, London. Yeah. We shouldn't say that, though. But don't answer it. Don't oh, answer it. The sound was on. That's the question for the competition. Okay, we can do so that. So hi to the channel watchers. Okay. Um, uh, I'm Joey. He's been to the Europe and we got a question for you. So the channel will come soon. It's a bit, it's a bit um, the high, but the show looks like it's lost now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well. Hello, Hi. all the viewers of the Super Channel. I'm Keith. And I'm Joey. And we're from the group Europe. Europe. Yeah. And uh, there's a question for you. Yeah. And you can answer. And if you answer it right, you will end up with us one day on the tour. So, where was the last album recorded? In what city? Our last. Where was Out of This World recorded? Right. Good luck. Okay, okay. That's fine. Can you just take I'm Joey and I'm Key in close up? Start with you, Joey. I'm Joey. Okay, yep. I'm Key. Okay, and then? And we're from the group Europe. Europe. Fine. 